Cyclone Mishuang is coming and uh, there's a lot of concern around what impact this may have on the city. Uh, there's been a wall collapse where two people have been killed. Rajdeep, the Prime Minister spoke about the prospects of the cyclone, asking people to go out and help. He said it doesn't really matter whose government it is, we should try and help in whatever way we can. So let's go across to Shilpa Nayar. Shilpa, uh, how bad is the situation in Chennai? What are the local authorities uh, saying and what's being done on the ground to mitigate the consequences of uh, what's coming? Uh, well, Rahul, as far as the situation in Chennai is concerned, uh, it's quite concerning uh, uh, because Chennai, of course, has been receiving very heavy spells of rain since last night. Continuously, it's been raining very, very heavily, not just in Chennai, but in its neighboring districts of Chengalpet, Kanjipuram and Tirvalur districts. All of these districts have been receiving very heavy rainfall since last night. There's been, uh, there are gusty winds as well. And this, of course, is the situation on ground. We are currently reporting from Mount Road in Chennai. This is one of the uh, major arterial roads in the city. And you can see the kind of situation here on ground. And this is exactly what it is in other parts of the city as well. Massive water logging everywhere. Water has entered homes. Uh, subways, at least 13 subways in the city are shut for traffic. Uh, trees have fallen. So there is, of course, a lot of uh, concerns at this point in time, a lot of challenges as well. Uh, thankfully, Tamil Nadu government had announced a public holiday for all these districts yesterday. Uh, so uh, all people, of course, uh, they've been advised to stay indoors. And that is the one message that the government wants to send across to everyone at this point in time. Please stay indoors. Do not come out unnecessarily because it's very, very unsafe and dangerous for anyone to come out uh, and step out uh, and, you know, uh, come to the streets of at this point in time. Uh, all this, of course, is happening so due to the, the full of fury cyclone, of the cyclone uh, be upon Chennai. What are the Met authorities saying? Uh, which stage is the cyclone in at the moment and when will the full fury hit the city? Uh, well, Rahul, uh, the cyclone is expected to make a landfall uh, tomorrow. Uh, that is uh, uh, between uh, Nellur and Machlipatnam of South Andhra Pradesh coast. Uh, but right now, the issue is the cyclone is very close to the Chennai coast. It's only around 110 kilometers away from the Chennai coast. And that is the reason why you're seeing this kind of... Uh, you know, weather condition here in Chennai, neighboring districts of Tamil Nadu. The officials, of course, are on high alert, uh, but there is very little that the Chennai Corporation can do at this point in time because uh, it's raining heavily. Every time, you know, in the last couple of days, whenever it rained, Chennai Corporation used to deploy pumps and motors uh, to drain out water from vulnerable areas, from low-lying areas, but they cannot do that right now because it's continuously raining. And even the stormwater drains, that is something that the DMK government had focused on very, very, uh, uh, you know, uh, very, right. very strongly. Even the stormwater drains have been shut in most places by the Chennai Corporation officials because most of the water canals, uh, the waterways are full. Uh, so they do not want a reverse, uh, you know, situation to happen where water is coming back to the city. So for that reason, at present, officials are keeping their fingers crossed, waiting for the rain to subside so that they can, of course, get on ground and drain out all this water. But situation is very, very challenging because as moment passes, as hour passes, Chennai is receiving very heavy rainfall and that, of course, okay. is uh, you know, causing a lot of concern. You know, uh, Chennai, of course, went through terrible flooding in 2015, which exposed the lack of flood preparedness. So I think they've learned some of the lessons. No, from but when a cyclone comes, the flood but when a cy You see, I think it's going to be the backlash of the cyclone. It hits the coast in other districts, but Chennai has suffered in the past because a number of the areas which were the traditional draining points had been, uh, you know, there had been a lot of development, a lot of construction that's taken place. But those are very troubling images coming in even before the cyclone actually hits. The fear, of course, will be if the rains intensify, then the flooding becomes much worse.